Welcome back to SmackDown Live, where it appears Shane McMahon is now trying to sort out last week's U.S. title mess. I know a lot of guys are claiming they deserve a shot at your U.S. title, but if anyone really does, it's me. Technically, the masked attacker had a U.S. title shot. Sami Zayn did not. Really? I was this close to defeating you last week before Bobby Roode attacked me on your behalf. I don't know what you're talking about. He, he tripped on his robe, remember? But we're getting off track. My point is I was going to pin you, but then I still won by disqualification, so I should be the number one contender for the US title. Don't take too long. I wouldn't want any other accidents to happen. Who else is going to get a U.S. title match before me? KO? Sammy, the janitor? The makeup lady? Tom freaking Phillips? At some point? It should have happened weeks ago, but since it didn't, it needs to happen tonight. Hey, it's me. I know it's uh, been a little while, but I've been trying to give you your space. Anyway, just wanted to give you a belated congratulations on winning the U.S. title. And I'm sorry Sami Zayn pulled that stunt with the mask. It's too bad guys are trying to capitalize on what happened between us. You shouldn't have to be reminded of it like that. Anyway, good luck with your open challenge. I'll be pulling for you. Speaking of championships, let's talk about the U.S. title picture on SmackDown Live. It's been really heating up since Buzz's victory over Bobby Roode at Backlash, especially with the return of the U.S. title open challenge. Hey, I, I give all the credit in the world to Buzz. I, I wasn't sold on this guy coming in. I, I thought he, he needed some time in, in NXT to learn. Well, but and, that was never uh, going to happen, given his history with Triple H. Will you let me finish? By all means. I was going to say... I thought he needed some time in NXT, but I realized that was impossible. 
Anyway, with, with that being said, he's been on a tear recently on SmackDown. But I think he might have hit a roadblock this past week in the form of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you didn't see it, what Hurd's referring to is KO and Sami Zayn's beatdown on Buzz after his match with Sami on SmackDown. I've seen some beatdowns and beat-ups, but that was on a whole other level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That might have been a beat sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you think about Sami wearing the Baron Blade mask? I thought it was kind of a cheap move. That, that wasn't cheap. What? That was smart. Oh. This is definitely... WWE, you got to do whatever you can to get an edge. You, you look at your opponent and see what you can use to exploit any mental weakness they might have. And Buzz has obviously got some major baggage with Baron Blade. I would have done the same exact thing. Yeah, but it didn't work, though. Buzz is still the United States champion. Okay, well, I would have done it better and won the match. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah, not gonna lie, after hearing you talk like this, I'm a little concerned you've been playing mind games with me all this time. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. Okay, <laughs> now this is getting uncomfortable. Let's uh, take a break so I can make sure Hood hasn't been uh, gaslighting me the past two years. Two years? We've been doing this podcast for four years. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing with Aww. you. <laughs> it's been five years. You're <laughs>
some offense. He looks incredibly motivated though. Don't expect him to have for long. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better. But that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah. One, two, and the champ kicks out. Wow. Wicked clothesline. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Come crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd. He goes for the cover. And the shoulder's up in time. Just power out. He's making a statement here for this one. Byron, the champ certainly has an uphill battle here. Well, it's rare. We have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to the He's looking at it. There he but he's got to capitalize now. The champ starting to fall for a bit. This match is really taking a toll on the champ. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this. And what I've learned so far here tonight is that there's absolutely no quit in him. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Bobby Roode looks to be in trouble. Wait a minute, Buzz might be in trouble now, too. We should have known these two would get involved. Oh, my God, taking advantage! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes! Oh, oh man! Oh. Bob. These guys are a black eye on SmackDown Live. Yeah, I agree. They're tarnishing everything the United States title stands for. For as talented as Owens and Zayn are, they're every bit a disgrace. Well, hopefully we get some kind of resolution to this next week because it definitely didn't happen tonight.
Welcome to SmackDown Live, where the United States Champion is about to address the WWE Universe. And luckily, it looks like Buzz was able to get his title back after last week's shenanigans. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say shenanigans? Yeah. Oh, what's wrong with that? My time as United States Champion hasn't quite gone as I planned, to say the least. I wanted to defend the title and give you hard-fought, competitive, and fair matches every week, but that's been impossible lately, thanks to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. That's why I'm out here to say... I'm tired of the constant interference and everyone thinking they deserve a U.S. title shot. So I'm proposing that Kevin Owens and Bobby Roode settle it in the ring to see who the real number one contender is. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be at ringside to make sure Sami Zayn doesn't affect the outcome of this match in any way, shape, or form. The United States Champion has weighed in on how he thinks this tumultuous situation should be settled. Let's see if Daniel Bryan agrees with him. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. In recent weeks, through no fault of your own, the United States title has been dragged through the mud by your opponent. So I'm backing your decision and making it official. Triple H on SmackDown? What's he doing here? I don't know. I just have a feeling he didn't stop by just to say hi. I know you're still relatively new to WWE, Buzz, so let me fill you in on something. You may have gotten lucky by winning the U.S. title, but that doesn't mean you get to call the shots around here. I call the shots. Um, Hunter, can we talk about that for a second? Because last time I checked, your brother-in-law Shane and I are in charge of SmackDown. Not you. So actually, we call the shots. Ooh, this is getting good. Shut up and listen to what I'm about to say because it's a lesson that you and everyone else needs to learn. I have influence far greater than anything you could imagine. Whatever I say goes. No questions asked. I say build it and it's how fast do you need it. I say make the match and the only questions are when and where. I say fire someone and WWE wishes them luck in their future endeavors. All anyone else has is the illusion of power. You call the shots because I let you call the shots. Now if you have a problem with any of that, I can make one call and you'll be struggling to put food on your family's table. You need us. We don't need you. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the US title picture. I have a better idea for how to settle all of this. At Money in the Bank, you won't even need to be pinned to lose your U.S. title. Because it's going to be a fatal four-way match. Of you versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. Breaking news. I told you. Get money in the bank. I'd never forget what you did. We're going to have a new champion. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. Everyone knows what's at stake here. with it. 